Oh, twelve more six blades. Um, this is the sort of culmination of me working out how long I've been doing the blades that I've done so far in order to project as roughly as I can how much I'm going to be charging for the range of blades that I'm doing. Now, the blanks that I've got here, I'm literally getting through them. Okay, I have two of virtually every little model thing that I had cammed up with Duncan. Um, now obviously, in order to get some more in, it, it, it's it's a batch thing. It, it's a, a month and a half ahead of itself sort of thing that could end up being quite a fair bit of time. So, I'm, I'm actually just getting through that at the moment to run and gun and see how long it all takes me. And the prices I've come up with are this sort of ballpark figure, okay? Now, everybody knows I did the Merlins in 01. Merlin, 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 okay. Now, those in 01 with a Kydex sheath were £85. And I've only got like one left, so they've all gone. Um, there's four more up there, which I'll start in the next couple of weeks or oh, whenever. Okay. Um, and what I've sort of worked out is, as if it was eighty-five pound, it would be seventy for the knife, fifteen for the Kydex sheath. And if it's seventy, and if you wanted a lever sheath for a little sheath that big. 30 pounds okay and it works that way down through so a puko it's in 52 100 52 100 is not 01 okay um i've sold both of these five minutes okay this is the sort of, <laughs> sort of whirlwind things that have been going on the last two weeks so pukos were shown they're gone now one guy wants a sheath one doesn't now same sort of like same sort of size sheath ish okay so ballpark figure 30 pound for the sheath 80 for the blank and all the work reason it's a long old blade isn't it right okay so 110 with a lever sheath now right. the basic lever sheath would be sheath belt loop so it'll be more of a belt loop just because it went quick Lucky Mr. S gets a dangler as well. Got to look after your customers. Okay, so if you wanted a dangler, it would be a little bit bigger. But I, I had this piece of lemon, it was just right, so he gets a dangler. So that is the sort of sheaf you'll get with a puka. Sort of. Okay. Stitched over the top. Sweet ass well, all the way down through. Look at that. Lovely. So. Make a mark at the bottom. So that's the Puko. Then we got the Yeomans. Okay. Again, 5200. My car. Alright. I'm trying to make the sheaths a little bit more raised the game so we're looking at about 120 130 for a yeoman as it's ballpark figure so 100 for the blade 30 for the sheaf the west mucks now these are these ones here like that now you can imagine you know totally up front with you yeoman comes like that a west muck comes like that so i scribe on the lines and then grind off so there's a lot more grind into this I'm also finding that cleaning the holes up from the heat treat and everything else to remove the decarburite is taking a fair bit longer but I've got some carbide tips when I used to do CAD cam work I used to take them out of the bin so I'm doing all right at the moment for I've got three more bits left for I'll buy some more Come on, look at me, me, me. and of course I've got a train vernier around to make sure I'm still circular but there's a lot of work in there so a west nest 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 wood muck ballpark burger five quid more so 135 ish okay then you start working up to Danelors 
which is this sort of size okay again they're square in this so I've got to profile the Dengla Dengla Boudicca shape onto there all right we'll have a nice sheath leather sheath go locks Oh, didn't the price. They're about 150. Alright. Go locks. These are gonna be about 180 with a lever sheath. A lot more to grind off, a lot more lever. Alright, so I'm actually bump for now the sheaths worth 30. A go lock sheath. I've said is 40. So you can see how it works. 140 for the blade. 40 for the sheath, 180. Enforcers. Now this one technically is is ordered from years back, so I'm going to get on to the, the chap who had this in mind to give him first shout on it. A lot to grind off, there's a lot of metal to finish, you know, it's, it's not a woodlore size blade. So, again, 130 for the blade, 40 for the sheath, because it's a big ass sheath. You see how it works out? So about 170 for an enforcer, the badass is bigger and longer. So he's 180, and then he got the um, Berserkers and the Daemon styles are 180, 200-ish, because there's a lot to take off on these things. Especially, even though the Parang could be less metal, I still got to skank that off. So that's a, a vague idea on prices. Um, the actual Puko, when it's done, this is why I went for a Puko style blade. The narrow blade allows silly, silly, just silly carving ability. Yeah, because it's narrow. not much blade to wiggle and turn all right so that's that's why I went for in my mind I mean there's a lot of people just do the wood lord they might just do uh, neck knives or, or that sort of style blade I thought well, it's just, I'm doing that so mate don't quite how popular it's gonna be I don't know but I think it's a cracking little knife There's the sheath, and there's one done in the world. Okay, the other one's going somewhere else without a sheath. So, thanks for joining me again. That's a vague idea on prices. Um, it could come to the point where I take orders a bit sort of sandy style, um, but it, they're, they're going almost faster than I can make them at the moment, which is great for me at least. So thanks for joining me again. Let's go for more six blades, pucos, and enforcers away. Thanks for joining. Me. See you on the next one. Yo, man. Yeah, well, it's easy on a little knife, isn't it?
<laughs> yeah. And when it comes to the stage where if you just rushed it through, you get the job done a little bit quicker. But if you spend a little bit more time, you can do a template so you get the speed back later. This is why it's been a long, slow day because I've been making a template and measuring things out again, swoops and all the rest of it. But anyway, enough said. Who's a lucky boy then? Mm-hmm.